I'm asking the county to pump the brakes a little. A Multnomah County preschool provider says the county blindsided participants with a new rule for the county's preschool for all program it has to do with who can get into their programs. Good evening. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Steve Dunn. I'm Deborah Knapp. K2's Wright Gasway is here with the breakdown of what exactly is happening, right? The new rule is related to which children get access to these free preschool for all spots. The tax on certain high income earners covers the cost of preschool for about 2000 children countywide right now. Preschool providers apply to participate and then set aside a certain number of spots for the program. In prior years, providers could set aside spots for children already in their infant and toddler programs. However, next year, the county is making them open half of their open spots to the community. One provider says it will force her to kick kids out. Angie Garcia says the rule change came too late for next year. And I think that's the problem that we're having is the county didn't come to us and say, okay, we are, we are going to implement this, this new policy. What needs to happen? How much time do you need? And then there becomes a collaborative effort so that nobody loses care. Angie wants the county to delay the rule for a year. We spoke to the director of preschool for all in October before this rule came out. However, we did talk about the problem of kicking kids out to participate in the county's program. She says the county is trying to strike a balance so the community at large can get into these preschools. What is going to be the balance of those kids that already can afford it and those people on the outside that never could? And you will decide as a business, well, maybe I have, you know, five, right, two-year-olds that I know I want to have slots and I'm willing to have five others to community. And so we'll be asking those questions of those providers. But we will be talking about what is the fair balance of that because we don't want to, all, to convert all slots to people that already can pay. We want people that to have access that couldn't have yeah, access in the past. Yeah. Late this afternoon, we got a statement from the county on this new rule that says in part, quote, families who can't afford infant and toddler care have a difficult time accessing preschool seats in some of our most popular centers because all or the majority of seats are set aside for those who can afford and are currently enrolled in toddler care. This policy addresses that inequity, end quote. The county says providers have the next month to decide how many spots they want to set aside for the preschool for all program. The county's goal is to have three free spots next year. We'll know in December what kind of effect this rule has on that goal.